Hi everybody! Welcome to video number two of Boutique Reptiles. Today I'm going to show you another bearded dragon morph. Today's morph is going to be Dunner, um, which is another scalation morph, but it is completely separate from Leatherback, Normal Scale, and Silky in the fact that you can have combinations um, with those other three. You can have a normal scale dunner, you can have a leatherback dunner, and you can have a silky dunner. So that's what I'm going to show you today. And yeah, let's get started. Alright, so first I'm going to show you a normal scale dunner. This is Pam. And the main difference between dunner and just a normal scale bearded dragon is that they're scales are actually a different shape so instead of having scales that lay flat kind of like plates um, their scales are more cone shaped and so a normal scale dunner looks a little bit spikier than just a regular normal scale and <clears throat> their beard scales actually point toward you so they point out that way instead of being laying down this way. So let me go grab a normal scale and we can compare the two. This is Liberty and she is just a normal scale. Pardon Mr. Zeta over here making all that noise. He's being a pain in my butt. Um, so she, as you can tell, her scales lay pretty much flat and her beard scales lay down flat. Whereas if you compare with Pam, who is the normal scale dunner, you can see that their beard scales go two different directions. So dunner, normal scale, dunner, normal scale. Right? Hopefully you can see the difference. Another difference, which is a little harder to tell in the big girls, um, is that they actually have a completely different pattern. Usually bearded dragon patterns go kind of horizontally. For example, this girl, the normal scale, her stripes go this way, her barring goes this way. So pretty much all of her patterns go horizontally. Whereas Dunner patterns actually go vertically. So let me show you an example of that. All right, this might be a little harder to see, um, but this is this is a little baby dunner that we'll have for sale soon. See where it'll zoom in. Mm -hmm. There we go. So this little baby is actually one of Pam's babies, the other big girl that I just showed you. And she is a dunner also. So you can kind of tell the patterning goes up and down instead of side to side. A lot of times they'll have these dots on the tail. She does have the beard scales that point upward. <laughs> he or she. It's not been sexed yet, but... The beard scales are not laying down flat. So we will have some of these babies available um, around June 25th. They will be six weeks old and as long as they're six inches long and eating ev and pooping everything, then they'll be ready to go. So keep an eye on our Facebook page and our Instagram page if you're interested in one of these gorgeous babies. Now like I was saying earlier you can have a combination of um, normal scale which I already showed you, leatherback and silky dunners. Um, unfortunately I don't have a silky dunner to show you but I do have a leatherback dunner so let me go grab her really quick. Alright this is Venus and she is actually not been feeling the greatest right now. She's a little on the skinny side, so she's been living by herself, but she is a leatherback dunner. So I'll do a comparison. She's the leatherback dunner. And Pam, who I showed you earlier, is the normal scale dunner. So you can see that she does have a little bit of reduced scalation. Um, they do both have the spikes on their sides and the spikes on their beards that point up towards their nose instead of um, laying flat like I was ow, saying earlier. She poked me. But you can have leatherback dunners and you can have silky dunners as well. 
Now, since silkies don't have scales, it is a little bit hard to tell if you have a silky dunner. The best way to do it is, um, like I showed you on the baby, they usually have the little dots on their tail. You'll mostly just have to look at the patterning if it's a silky bearded dragon, or silky dunner bearded dragon. Um, because, honestly, that's really the only way to tell since they most of the time have zero scales. Or supposed to have zero scales. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it for the Dunner Morph. Ouch. <laughs> Next week I do plan on doing Hypo and Trance. So hypomelanistic and translucent jeans. So I will show those to you next week. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!